I'd like to show you how to change a wire string. And I'm showing you on an Ogden, even though it really is the same on a pedal harp as well, very similar. So let's take the old string off first. What I need is a tuning key. I'm going to untune. I'm dealing with the low C in case you're wondering. I'm going to take this string off. So I'm going to unwind it, kind of pull it loose as I go, All right? Now on these, as you get on the pedal harp, these of course will be stiffer strings. But one thing that you can do is take the harp out from all the apparatus and things that it's stuck in. Okay. And especially on a pedal harp, you can move behind the wire string, right? So you're moving behind the harp, balancing yourself. This isn't so important to do on a, on a lever harp, but on the pedal harp, you might like to know this. Take the string, do you see I have it here, and pull. Just one sharp movement and the string will come off and you will not have scratched any part of your harp, all right, if you do it all in one motion. Now, I would also recommend taking your wire cutters and snipping at the bottom of the harp, all right. So I'm just going to move this for a second so that you can see what I'm doing. I snip here. The reason that I do that is so that I don't scratch any other part of the harp on the body of it or the soundboard. Um, one thing you might like to do anytime you're using wire cutters on these wire strings is wear some safety glasses because little snippets of it can get into your eye. Go. Now, putting the new string on, I'm going to put my wire cutters down because I don't need them for this part. Okay, undo my string. I'm going to find the back, stick it through, All right, and watch where the end comes out. Take it right from the tip there because you don't want it to scratch the column of your heart or anything on its way. And there we go. Now, I'm going to adjust this so we're back at the top of the harp so you can see what's happening and I have my uh, pin pointing upwards so that the hole can go straight through here and I'm going to, I'm going to stick it and you want to stick it through the mechanism on your pedal harp too so that well, through the discs pull it up and look how Always check and see what are the other strings like. You want it to be like that. All right. Now, you want to have some slack here. You want to have about three winds at the top. So what I am doing is I have pulled this up all the way. Do you see how I'm pulling it tight? I have about an inch and a half here at the top where I have put my thumb. I hope you can see. All right, now I'm going to move it down to where my thumb was. So do you see how I have moved it down? And then I'm going to bend that string. So now it's bent. So that now I can just easily wind it around the pin just the way that the other ones are wound. And I'm holding my thumb here on the end so that I can guide it so that it goes behind 
just like all the other string wires are doing. Okay, and I'm pulling it tight, not too tight. You don't want to break it. And I have about three lines on it. Now, there we go. Now it's going to take quite a bit of tuning at first, but I have wound my wire string. Another thing to remember on the wire strings in particular on a pedal or a lever harp is make sure when you're tuning, number one, that the that the tuning key has gone straight in that you're not holding it as an, at an angle. If you hold it at an angle, you may break the tuning pin, the tuning key or the tuning pin may break. Okay, so straight on and also make sure that you are push, pushing in as you turn to tune it because the pins are tapered and they will stay better that way. They, you won't be tuning every five seconds. Here we go. And now my own personal preference is to leave the string a little bit long for a while just in case something happens I guess I'm just superstitious and um, and I might have to rewind it which can be done with these just because you put it on doesn't mean that it's it's on forever and it will be broken if you take it off so I'm going to trim it now usually personally I leave them long for a while till I feel secure but I'm going to put, and again, wear glasses when you do this. There you go. Wire cutters are a wonderful thing. And if you just heard a groan, that was my dog. <laughs>